Good morning, friends, and welcome to Friday, March 12th. Thank you for Barb Baker getting us started. My Jesus, my Savior, love and is like you. All of my days, I want to praise the wonders of your Friday's devotion is in the Upper Room Discipline, written by Daniel Livers. And our scripture this morning is Psalm 107, 1-3. to Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. For his steadfast love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, those he redeemed from trouble and gathered in from the lands, from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Derek fled his home country of Honduras because of violence. He was kidnapped as he was traveling through the desert, and he escaped only to find himself lost and alone for 10 days on limited food and water. Can you imagine being in this situation, alone, lost, disoriented, and afraid, knowing that death is a real possibility? Derek encountered the wilderness in a very real way, and yet he would tell you that he was never lost hope. Why? God never leaves God's children alone. Psalm 107 is a psalm of thanksgiving that sings out in gratitude to God for delivering God's people from trouble. The Israelites have encountered the wilderness and they've experienced exile. They have been lost and separated. However, the Israelites have also experienced God saving them from their trouble. It is from personal experience that the psalmist reminds us of key truths about God's love. It endures and it gathers us in. The author can hear the words of the psalmist echoing in Derek's story. To say that God never leaves us alone in the wilderness is another way of saying that God's love endures. The Psalms tell us about God through the lens of how others have experienced God at work. Both the psalmist and Derek speak to the experience that God loves endures. And if we think about it, we realize that we too have experienced God's enduring love. We all encounter the wilderness in different ways and at different times. When our path is difficult and hope seems lost, we find courage in a faith that assures us that God's love endures and sustains us and gathers us in. As we go through our own wilderness experience and journey, we experience our experiences of God's steadfast love are our source of strength. Let us pray. 
O oh God, we give you thanks for your steadfast love, which endures forever. Help us to experience and to proclaim this in our own lives as we encounter the wilderness before us. Amen. Mary Austin will lead us now in Now Thank We All Our God.